Hello teams, in this video I'm going to be talking about using external mode in Simulink to communicate with the VEX robot. So um, let's see what external mode really means. So external mode is nothing but a communication process between Simulink and an external program. So what that means is it's a communication channel between the Simulink diagram or your Simulink model that is on your computer and an external program which is downloaded Simulink program that is actually running on your microcontroller which in your case is the VEX Cortex that is on your robot. Now as far as the communication channel, uh, this communication channel between the Simulink diagram and the external program is uh, a serial communication or it could be uh, TCP IP Ethernet based communication and this communication channel lets you actually transmit and receive data uh, between the Simulink uh, model on your computer and the external program on your hardware. In the case of the VEX microcontroller uh, what this communication really means is that the transmitting of the data from your Simulink model is nothing but uh, the ability to control the motor uh, speeds and the servo angles and then the uh, receiving or the acquiring um, of data is nothing but uh, the sensor data uh, if you had sensors on your VEX robot uh, you should be able to acquire and log the sensor data uh, that's coming from your external model uh, back into uh, your Simulink uh, model on your computer. In the case of the uh, VEX microcontroller, uh, the communication channel is going to be the USB cable that you connect your uh, VEX Cortex microcontroller and um, your computer. So now let's go ahead and look at external mode in action and um, uh, that will give you a better idea of what external mode is all about. And we'll also talk about uh, what are the benefits of uh, using external mode in Simulink. Now before I go into uh, showing you how external mode works in Simulink, I want to uh, um, show you my uh, robot that I have here for demoing uh, with the external mode in Simulink. Um, this is actually a very simple um, uh, two motor driving four wheels robot and you can see that the uh, robot also has uh, an arm with a gripper right here in the front. Now, all these components are actually controlled by um, DC motors. We don't have any servos on this robot at this point. So let's go ahead and now uh, look at a Simulink model that uh, we will uh, run an external mode to control this robot. So here is a very uh, simple Simulink model that I have uh, created, um, which basically consists of uh, three motor blocks. And uh, each of these motor blocks are connected to constant blocks. Um, so my goal is going to be here to use these constant blocks to control the motor speeds uh, in external mode. So how do I do this? Um, I'm going to do this by uh, a couple of steps. But before we go into uh, understand, before we go into starting the robot in external mode, let me. Uh, talk a little bit more about what these motor blocks do. So as you can see the naming of these blocks, the first two motor blocks, right motor and left motor, are actually for controlling the right wheel and the left wheels uh, on this robot. And then the arm uh, motor uh, is nothing but the motor that is at this joint to control the, uh, the up and down motion of this uh, joint of the arm. Okay, so now uh, to uh, start this model in external mode, uh, what I'm going to do is, let me increase the size of the screen here and show you that uh, this um, drop-down list here, which is called the simulation mode, is uh, usually set to normal uh, for your normal mode simulation. Uh, but in this case, uh, we'll choose this to be external simulation mode. Now, uh, some of the previous videos talk a little bit more about what simulation is uh, with respect to Simulink. So I would 
uh, recommend watching those videos if you want to understand what simulation really means. Um, so uh, here we are we are going to show you how to run uh, your simulation mode in external, uh, and we'll see what that really means uh, in a second. So now that I've chosen external, I can go ahead and uh, hit this run button to um, set my uh, Simulink model in external mode. So when I hit this run button, what Simulink starts to do is it is going to um, generate C code for this Simulink model and then compile and download that C code onto my uh, VEX Cortex microcontroller on my robot. And once it has downloaded that program, which is nothing but the external program that we are looking at in the slide, it then sets up a communication between the Simulink diagram on my computer and the uh, external program that's running on this uh, microcontroller. So it takes a few seconds uh, for Simulink to do all of that and uh, then set up the external communication. Um, so just give it a few seconds um, while it actually completes doing that. And when it's done, you should be able to see the status message to, which says that it's connected and it's now ready to be used in external mode. While we are waiting, uh, one thing that I can show you is this view diagnostics link uh, at the bottom of a Simulink model, which is nothing but the diagnostics viewer window. This is all the build output, but typically uh, when you run into any uh, errors during the external mode, uh, you will see uh, error messages pop up here. And this is very useful when you want to uh, reach out to MathWorks uh, if you need help with any uh, issues that you're running into during external mode. Now I can uh, see this and say that the um, external mode is almost ready to go. Um, let me minimize the screen and go back to my Simulink model here. And... Uh, it looks like now it's saying it's running the model uh, and then I can see that the time has started which means my external mode is all ready to go. Um, note one thing that you need to turn on your robot uh, in order to be able to control the motors because turning on your robot or powering on your uh, microcontroller is what is going to uh, supply uh, power to the motors on your robot. So I'm going to do that go ahead and turn on this uh, uh, microcontroller and now uh, I can come back to my Simulink model and here what I'm going to do is change this constant value from 0 to say 20 and you can see here that my right motor has actually started spinning right so and let me do the same thing here I'm going to change this constant value to 20 as well there you go. So you can see the left motor has started spinning. So basically, I'm able to control my motors by sending data from my Simulink diagram on my computer over the USB cable uh, or the USB channel to my uh, uh, to my robot. I'm going to go ahead and change this to zero, and then also switch this to uh, zero. Okay, and you know I can make another change here. And you can see that it's now spinning in the opposite direction. Then I can control the zero. So that's the biggest benefit of uh, running your model in external mode is that you're able to control uh, your robot uh, from within Simulink while it's still connected to your computer. The uh, the one uh, 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 interesting the thing that I want to show you, and this is a typical use case that I have seen with uh, uh, teams is uh, being able to understand how much power do they need for, uh, for instance, lifting the arm of the robot because of the weight of the arm. It's always uh, going to be tricky to understand how much uh, power do they need to give to their motors in order for their arm to raise in a specific speed. And external mode is very helpful in that uh, regards because you can uh, dynamically change this value uh, to a constant value, say here. I'm going to change this to 20 and see that actually took my arm down and then now I'm going to raise my arm with the power of 20 and you can see that it's struggling to actually raise my arm, uh, raise the robot's arm uh, because minus 20 is not giving it enough power 
So I can change this to minus 25 and see how that does. And uh, you know, you can always go back to zero to stop the arm uh, at a specific position. So what this actually uh, helps me uh, to do here is to be able to uh, tune the uh, the motor speeds um, dynamically uh, over this uh, USB communication and uh, get a better understanding of what these values have to be uh, when I have my robot running on the actual field. This way what I can do is I can go back and say that if I want to use a digital button to control my arm, I can uh, set my digital button uh, in such a way that when I press the button, it sends a value of 25 or negative 25 to my arm um, because I know this speed at which my arm actually went up is what I want or what I desire. Um, and I, in that way I can program my, uh, um, uh, my Simulink uh, model based on the results from the external mode uh, to get the desired behavior during the actual competition. Okay, so now let me try that again. I'm gonna do a 20 so that I can bring my arm back slowly. Um, you can see one disadvantage over here is that I uh, cannot um, switch between uh, 20 and 0 and minus 20 or any other values very quickly because by the time I double click and get to this, um, uh, you know, this parameter dialog to change the values, my arm would have gone down. Um, let me stop this here. And um, and the, the way to actually handle that is to use uh, what I call manual switch. Um, so you can see I can click in my model somewhere and type the name of a block that I know of and it tells me this block uh, exists and I can actually add it right here. Um, so this manual switch block uh, basically um, can be used um, to control my uh, uh, motor speed a little bit more easily. Uh, because the manual switch uh, also works during external mode the same way as being able to go into the blocks and change the parameter values. Okay, So now when I connect this uh, block here and put this model in external mode again, um, I should be able to switch using this manual switch during external mode between negative 20 and positive 20 as a speed value going into my arm. So this would be an easy way to uh, test your uh, uh, motor for different speed values. So that brings us to the end of this video on using external mode in Simulink. Uh, we have been able to see how external mode sets up communication between your Simulink model uh, or block diagram and the uh, code that is running on your Vex Cortex microcontroller. And we also address some of the benefits that you uh, get by uh, using external mode and Simulink. Thank you for watching this video. If you have uh, any questions um, regarding using Simulink with the Vex Cortex microcontroller, please contact us at bestrobotics at mathworks.com.